I'm on a mission to sing a song from every country and today I'm learning how to sing in Mongolian. But let's take a step back. You see, it was only seven months ago that I decided to go on this trip and explore the musical characteristics of different cultures. 195 countries seemed like a lot, but by the time I made this video I was already on 103 countries. That's 52.8% of the challenge complete. I did it! I finished half the challenge! But like, there's still 92 countries to do. More if you counted all the unrecognized states. And it's a wonderful experience, my friend. So I thought, why not share it with you? Why don't you join me today and find out how to say the letter X in Mongolian? Why not find out about a completely new genre that you've never heard of before? You see, this is the world of Karalius. There are things you'll see here and feel here and hear here that you won't find anywhere else. Combinations from across different populations. I like to call them combopulations. So congratulations, you're here. Subscribe and uh, bye. Listening to Mongolian folk rock music is absolutely insane, right? And for those of you who don't know the who, the who is just fantastic. So yes, The Who are a Mongolian folk rock band that create music in ways that I have personally not heard before. I've been listening to them for over a year now and I've not regretted it whatsoever. Except when I was searching for their concerts in the city I live in, like by coincidence, and literally found out that they were playing 10 minutes away from me on the same day and I missed out on one of the best experiences of my life. Like, it just, I don't know. Now, I want to actually sing their music and share it with the world, but I take my language learning with music very seriously. Just so I know that every single intonation that they're saying is heard. In the first verse, I hear them say, but if we go back as we're seeing on the screen with the Mongolian alphabet with the UV UV U lyrics right here, here it's written Ichyudan. If we look at the same letter that is used here, the I. It. 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 So it's not an I, it's not a zid, it's it. Ichyudan. If you look at all the languages I've sang, I've sang in Swahili, Shona, Dominican, Spanish, Finnish, right? And all these different languages have different intonations that, that you won't know. Like in Norway, right? They have the O with the uh, slash and it's like U, right? And there is no sound like that in some of the languages that I speak, but that's why it's so important for me to actually listen to everything. Okay, wait, wait, wait. See, now this is different when they sing it live. I'd rather listen to them live, say, because it's clear. Didlin is what I heard in the original, but here they're saying Didsin. Yeah. Okay, now this is where we return to the lyrics. So you see, to actually make sure that what we are singing is correct, right? A lot of people will think, yeah, man, this guy is just trying to memorize. No, I actually go through a very severe process. And the thing that made me go through this was country number 24 with Samoa. The G is actually pronounced NG, so mm, right? So it was G-A-T-A, -A. I said gata, but it was actually ngata. Even if they actually use English letters in their language, it doesn't mean that they always sound the same. So you gotta take that into account. I hear it didlin, here it's dildin, and I heard like a didsin. See, now we gotta break this down. <laughs> No, wait, it may be wrong here actually. Wow, I'm 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 just ah okay wow so you see okay so okay there we go now we're back to normal so. Oh dil din Okay, so it's a good mongrel red edge the not lark new way way Okay, that's the second verse. Okay, that's the second verse. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, oh, good. Oh, oh. So it's either a G, that's what I don't know. Is it a G? Oh. So it actually might just be G. 
it just might be the It's a good mongrel red the It's a good mongrel red the church that the no clark knew by you. They both are the same letter, but sometimes they pronounce it as g and sometimes as g. It's kind of like T in Brazilian, so chiamo. Sometimes it's a ch and sometimes the third, even G. Sometimes D, sometimes G. Now look, I'll be honest, I talk a bit too much. So, I'll end things here and show you the final video that I did. Today, that video has nearly reached 300,000 views with more than 1,500 comments, the most of which have been nice from the Mongolians that watched it. So subscribe and enjoy me attempting to sing in Mongolian. I'm singing a song from every country in the world and a number 101. Let's do Mongolia. <laughs> Wayo, 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 wayo